Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to create a simple and neat channel art for our YouTube channels. And we're not going to be using Photoshop because let's face it, it costs a lot. It's a big file to download. And if you're going to be spending weeks, if not months, learning how to use it professionally, there has to be an alternative, which there is. Okay, this alternative is Paint.net, an upgraded version of the simple primary school program Paint. Okay, so search for it on Google, Paint.net. And I choose the CNET download simply because I trust CNET. It's a reliable website. Okay, so we want to hit the big download now button. It's going to take you to this page. A few seconds left. Okay, now I'm going to assume that you guys know how to install programs. And if you don't, it is very simple. Okay, so open up that one, the installer file and you want to press yes if you want to install it and just go through those those instructions but i'm not going to because i already have it and that's just a waste otherwise okay so on to business in the description you will find a link that takes you to this website right here this is simply a picture with template designs on on display okay because if you go back here you can see this size right it changes from device to device on tablets it is this area with this line uh, minimum mobile is this and this area is the safe area so everything will be vi will be visible in this area okay desktop this bit and that shows you where the profile pictures and links and for a smart tv this is the recommended size okay we're going to adjust the sizes afterwards but to start with we will choose desktop so you need to launch paint.net you want to press new now if we go back here the desktop is 2120 by 350 so that's 2120 2120 by 350 okay this is just the size in pixels of your uh, your worksheet so okay so here you are, this is it. Okay, now I said about changing it later, we will do that after we've done, because for smart TVs, it has to, the area has to be this big for YouTube to allow it to be uploaded correctly. So we will do our designing in this bit, the desktop size, okay? And if you're working on a tablet or any other device, then yeah, you can make it smaller if you wish to. But it has to be this big at least. We'll just have a white space around here or clear, okay? So let's go back to paint.net. So first of all, this is layers down here. And if you've not got this window and it's disappeared, you wanna to go to um, window and click layers and that shows here. So you've got colors up here, layers, your history. So you can go back seven spaces instead of clicking back seven times. And you've got different tools here, selections and paint and things. Okay, so this is our background. So let's make our background a nice yellowy colour and this is really not going to go too well if I tell you that I'm colourblind <laughs> okay so there you are there's that one now you can add a new layer you don't have to do this you can muck around with the program do whatever you want I'm just making a quick design and then showing you how to upload it okay so layer 2 we'll call corners so we will make a rectangle like this shape actually we need it black then you can see where it is okay we'll have it like that and we will also fill it black as well because black's a great color <laughs> so we go back to the move ones we click this yep and if you right click and drag either to the left or right it rotates so we'll rotate it there we'll place this one up there like that anything off the screen is not displayed okay so edit copy and then paste and yeah control c and v are shortcuts for this so this is that one we can rotate this one round so it lines up nicely with that so you can see yeah okay there you are place this one down here <clears throat> the profile picture will cover this kind of area and links will be down here so what we can do, we can maybe add 
this one. Again, we can choose our colors. Yeah, new layer would be helpful, wouldn't it? Okay, so this one we're gonna call image, just image. And opacity, uh, opacity we'll put 200. Okay, that's quite weird. Bear with me one minute. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. That was just because I had this selected down here and it wouldn't do anything. Okay, so we've got this shape. Let's create this sort of thing here. Yep. Okay, we'll fill it with maybe, let's go for one of these. Now this is probably a this, the, the, the most disgusting color in the, yeah, that is horrible. Okay, let's just do that because it's not gonna matter too much. Okay, that's full. Right, under tools, the drop down menu, you will see a gradient thing. If you click gradient, and we'll go from linear, click in the middle and drag to the right, that's going to do something like that. Okay. Yep, there you go. That's filled out that box with that kind of color. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to effects, uh, render, and clouds. And you see it adds like this thing. If we put the scale down, it does that. And it looks a bit repetitive. We put it up and it's too soft. And yeah, so that's okay. Roughness, change it up. That looks, yeah, that looks okay. Rev it down, a bit soft again. Okay, so let's have that normal. I like XOR, and you can see we've got this space in the middle. That's where our square is. Okay, now that's done. That looks that looks pretty good, actually, doesn't it? Okay, so just to finish off, because this video is getting quite long, we're going to put some text. So click the text button. Uh, Let's have dark blue text. Click here. You can see the cursor, but we'll make it 72. Okay, a little bit bigger than 108. The text style, there are loads on paint.net. Absolutely loads. So let's just choose one randomly. This one. Okay, now your YouTube channel. What should be called? Donuts, donuts are good. I can't spell donuts. I can, but whatever. Bacon, bacon's good. Bacon channel, exclamation mark. Down here is the little arrow to move it around. Okay, let's put channels. Okay, let's italics perhaps. And on here again, you wanna go effects. And to be honest, it would be helpful if you put text in a new layer once more. Okay, photo glow, let's give it a nice glow. Let's put the radius maybe down or maybe up. Okay, brightness, put down. Brightness up maybe, just down there. So that uh, gives a kind of washed out effect. Okay, so there you go, rendering. Now then we'll save, hit save as. Aha, I said at the beginning this thingy so now what we want to do TV recommended size so yeah we will just save it just quickly just to make sure we don't muck it up okay YouTube what is it cover should change that to channel art no there you go we'll just we'll call it tutorial save okay okay that's done so we want to go back to image resize now then what was it 2 120 so that's okay and we'll change the height to 1192 okay so we've got 1192 okay this shouldn't stretch the picture and if it does we can easily fix that yeah there you go <laughs> okay that looks kind of silly so you want to do the move selection pixels you just want to click anywhere you can up here there's a little square you can make whoa undo that undo 
undo. Okay, you want to select the whole thing with the rectangle tool, all of it. Once that's done, you then click that and give me one minute. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to use the layers function. We're going to merge the layers together. So we're going to merge that one down to there. Let's go to put images in with corners and then we're going to put corners in with backgrounds. Okay, there we are. Now then, you should be able to move it all at once. There you are. So you want to get this into the middle. That's about right. And there we are. Okay, so now you want to export it. File, save as. And here, and we'll change the file to a JPEG. Okay, it's going to ask us to render it. And it does that for you quality, put that up. And see that's all that white space, and then you've got the actual picture. Okay, and we're gonna it's gonna flatten it as well. Picture must be flattened. Oh no, that was already done because we merged it all. Okay, so that's good. Now we close. Let's go back here. We go to edit on our thingy. Edit channel art. Upload photos, select a file from our computer. And it was in YouTube, cover, and what was it called? Tutorial. There it is. So let's open this. Okay. And sorry, this tutorial's been quite long, but it's been quite a lot to get in. So there you go. That's what it looks like on TV, on the mobile, and on the desktop. So that's that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. We can adjust the crop as well to get this perfectly central. Make it a little bit smaller, maybe. Either end can put it up. But yeah, you can mess around with that. And once that's done, it will be uploaded and it will look like this. But it won't look like this if you've copied me exactly. But there you go. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, just message me. Thank you. Goodbye.